Hey what's up guys Dhruval here with another video and in this video I'm gonna show you how to do this really simple photo manipulation. We are just going to cut this model from the background and then we will use this guy as a simple background and we are also going to do some color correction so that we can uh, blend her with the background and create some overall feeling and it's gonna be really fun so let's get started. So as you can see here, I have every image open inside Photoshop, the sky, the girl and the feather. Now if you want to open an image, you can go to file and open as many images you want. And these images are from deviantart.com and if you want to use them for practice, the download link is in the description, so check them out. And to start, first of all, let's start with the model and we have to cut her from the background in order to change the background. So first of all, I am sure that I'm not I'm not gonna use the whole image. I'm just gonna use like to her thighs, middle of her thighs. So first of all, let's grab a crop tool and make sure you have selected delete crop pixel. So we actually delete the image and don't keep it. So let's cut her from here and we also don't need this unnecessary area. So I'm gonna cut that too. So we are obviously getting rid of the garbage area. So first of so all, uh, use this quick selection from easy. here. And I'm now this is a really, really high resolution image, so you can crop it extreme and, and it also her face. So, that's so go really as long helpful. as you can. Now, first of all, I tried using different type of selection tools, but if you know how to use this pen tool, that would be awesome because that is the best tool that you should use. But if you don't, then I have some secondary option which can help you a little bit. So for that, uh, you need to use this quick selection tool. Now go as long as you can go with this quick selection tool and I'm gonna try to cover her face too. It's not gonna work properly because it's not very accurate. So I can go as long as her hand and a little bit of this area, but then it's not going really nice. So do as much as you can and that looks really fine. Now we get to read off some area like here we do not need selection here and we need to add some area like her hand because we obviously need her hand for selection. So first of all select a magnetic lasso tool. So uh, you have these four options here. So you use the second one. Uh, so as you can see we need to add her hand in the selection. So first of all, make sure that you make a really good selection of her hand using this tool. So obviously we have selected the wrong tool and it's an epic fail. So make sure control Z and we need magnetic lasso tool. So sorry for that. I screwed up. So uh, make little little dots like this and it's also not very accurate. I'm not a fan of these tools because they might save the time but the output is not really nice. But hence you, if you don't know pen tool, then this is op great option for you. So whenever you want to finish the selection, you just double click it. And just imagine we need to get rid of this area. So we do not need selection. So select the third option. It will remove the selection from certain areas. So I'm just going to make few cuts here and there. And that is going actually good. So that is really nice. So that is going great and double click and the selection is there. So as you can see we are going pretty good with this one. So let's get rid of this portions too and I'm gonna do this one here. I was thinking about fast forwarding this one but then I thought a lifetime would be really helpful. So as you can see here it is going anywhere and it is not that great. So I'm just gonna get rid of this also so let's uh, not working really great so I might switch to some polygon lasso tool and then I'm gonna first of all select this third option so don't forget about that and then I'm gonna make a selection so this way you can also get rid of so try using these different tools the magnetic lasso and poly and regular lasso there are many of them so this way you can add and remove the selection once you decide that your selection is really accurate. Don't worry about the hair. I'm going to show you how to get rid of that. So first of all, uh, this looks okay-ish. And then what you do is you apply a layer mask from here. So as you can see this little button here, that's a layer mask. So when you click on that, it will hide the area that is not selected. So all you have is the model. 
now uh, first obviously we need to get her hair back but don't worry about that so as you can see here is the sky image so i'm gonna go back to my model and i'm gonna take her out like this so and then select your move tool and then move her into the new background so that looks really great now press ctrl t for the transform option and then hold down your shift key and then try to make her big something like this so that is obviously not enough so i'm gonna make her even more big like that so that looks good to me now obviously it's a terrible selection but if you use pen to uh, it uh, you won't have this type of problems and it would be much much better now about the hair so select your layer mask make sure you have selected your layer mask now right click and select refine mask again so there is some sort of thing we have this marching art so what you want to do is you want to do is uh, on layers or maybe overlay overlay looks fine so this way uh, then you start painting on her hair you have to think where can they be so this way you can get the hair part done and then you can tweak the settings here for even better results that can really help you so always make sure there are many options you can see on black and white so you can see there is some haze and then there's overlay then there are many many so this tutorial is gonna be long more than I anticipated so that's fine so hit ok and once the processing is done as you can see it has done marvelous job for cutting the hair and it looks really natural too so that's a really great tool but um, uh, this is way you can cut image from the background particularly this image so uh, I'm not gonna use this image obviously because it's not a very good masking but you get the idea so I'm gonna delete this one and then I'm gonna go back to my original composition and then I'm gonna use this image for practice so we can uh, have some better image to work on now I'm also gonna press ctrl T and then I'm gonna make it really big you can hold shift key to make sure you have a proper proportion and you don't screw up with anything so that's great I'm gonna make her even a little bit bigger uh, something like that so that is really awesome now after that let's see what we have to do so our first job obviously is to match her for the background so it looks really nice overall image so I'm gonna go back and select this and put it here so this is the reference image that I'm going to use to help myself so as you can see some crazy stuff so first of all it's uh, hue and saturation as you can see here I turned down the saturation a little bit because uh, here it is uh, the sky is really nice blue I'm not against it but we need I wanted some neutral uh, low saturated feeling so let's go and select hue saturation and then I'm gonna uh, oops control Z and then I'm gonna kill it by minus 30% so that way uh, it can work really nice now we need uh, some type of haze behind her so we can match this portion so uh, create a blank layer between the model layer and the hue saturation layer so then uh, select your brush tool and make sure opacity is 100% and your foreground color is white if it's not press D for the default colors and then you can use X key to flip them so that can be real helpful now right click and make your brush big real big so I think that is really perfect size that I wanted so I'm gonna click once with white color so that looks already good but we can make it better so turn the blend mode to soft light and if you turn it on and off you can see there is a bit of a hazing and you can adjust it as you need and I'm gonna make it even bigger so we can have nice blending so if you turn it on and off you can see the difference it makes so that is really nice so let's see what we have next the haze part is done the model then the feather now adding a feather is really simple job uh, what all you have to do is make sure you have this feather file open in Photoshop and it's a PNG file so the awesome thing is you don't have to cut her from cut it from the background so that is really helpful so if it asks uh, say okay it won't make a bigger difference so now I don't need it so I'm just gonna close it 
and then uh, press Control T to make it smaller. Obviously, we do not need it uh, really big. Uh, let's make it believably small. So that is really great. Uh, now, right click and select Warp and then warp it a little bit don't go real crazy we also need to make it realistic so press enter and if it doesn't look believable like this control Z that's always an option so I'm gonna uh, not gonna cut it at all so you can see that even I have trouble sometimes doing some stuff so this is really gonna take a little time so that is great now it looks believable so I'm kind of satisfied with this one now again I'm gonna press ctrl T right click and select warp so I can bend it a little so I'm just gonna bend it from the top and a little bit from here then again a little bit from here and throw it like that and that is going not very good but if you take your time and do it slowly as you can see, see now it's becoming believable so that is great now press enter so it feels like that she is holding it in her hand you can always go back and warp it again and again to get better results so keep doing it until you are satisfied and hit enter so this is actually looks really nice now the thing is you have to put this let's name it uh, feather the chat spellings uh, I really love them so the feather is here on the top now to make it feel like that she is actually holding it uh, all you have to do is apply a layer mask and select a brush right click and make it first of all let's make it smaller so that is a good size yeah that is perfect make sure it's big as her, her fingers so that can be helpful and after that increase the hardness to maybe like 50 percent because we do not want to over soften it otherwise it would look really bad uh, on her fingers now I think we do not need this one since uh, it's not gonna come out of her hand so from here and a little bit here make sure you do not erase something that is in between her fingers so a little portion like this that will give it sense of depth and then also a little from here and see it's really simple and this way you can make her hold anything you can it's not necessary that you have to use a feather you can use anything you want so you can make a rose or some bird or anything so and after that I have an adjustment layer for the feather so I can give it a little bit of depth and it's nothing all you have to do is um, uh, go here in adjustment layers and select where is it curves in the curves uh, select this option so when you click on this option it's gonna only affect the layer that is under it it won't affect the rest of things so I'm gonna make it a bit darker so that looks great and we are done with the feather and so overall composition is totally ready now all we have to do is do some color correction so let's go back and see what we have next so the next is how I enlarged her dress so it is one really cool method and I use it all the time first of all duplicate this model layer because we obviously gonna need her uh, then right click on it and select delete layer mask sorry apply layer mask don't delete it apply layer mask so we have her like this so press ctrl z now obviously we need to enlarge only her dress so I'm gonna turn this background layer off so you can see what am I doing right now now select your brush tool and select this one or maybe erase directly erase it there is no big deal so I'm gonna erase this portion we only need the dress right click and make hardness a little better so get rid of this hand and everything all we do not need to worry about the feather so that looks uh, slightly believable so that is great now turn this background layer on so now what we have select this layer and uh, only the dress now control T on your dress uh, and then right click and select warp so you can warp it as you want a little bit so first of all th uh, this time uh, let's press enter and press control Z we need to make a copy I totally forgot about that so let's make it copy one and then duplicate uh, it by pressing control J and then name it copy two wow so much thought in the names now turn down the copy to for a while uh, shut it down 
now go select copy one and then press ctrl T and then right click warp so now then make it big small however you want you can also tweak it a little bit something like that just make it believable take your time and that looks uh, kind of great so that is okay uh, and hit enter now apply a layer mask and now you know the process just paint with the black color where you do not need it so I'm gonna make it a bit smaller okay it's already very small I'm gonna make it big and then you erase it from unnecessary areas like that so this way we just enlarge the dress from this side now turn back the copy too so we can enlarge the left side and then again press ctrl T and warp and all the same stuff so do it something like this and then warp it and then again throw it back and then again warp it and then again adjust it and keep doing it until you are satisfied so this way you can enlarge the dress then zoom in if you have any problem in the details but it already looks great so this way you can enlarge the dress uh, where is it this way so we just make made the dress really awesome now after that uh, this is a uh, little lower than what we are doing right now so as you can see the difference so you this way you can enlarge any dress you want so this way we made the dress large now the hue saturation part so as you can see here I again removed the overall saturation of the whole image so go and select hue saturation where is it god I forgot okay now I'm gonna kill it to maybe 45 so it's almost black and white but you can still see those red in her hair so that also gives a little bit of pop in the image and now the curves so let's double click on it and let's go to red we have nothing green nothing blue so I have added a little bit of blue there are so many layers that I cannot remember what I did on every step so I have to use the original file as a help so I'm gonna go to blue and I'm gonna add a little bit of blue and that is great I can also go to RGB and do some tweaks keep playing with these things uh, and you might find something better than me so that would be awesome now let's go back and we have another curves and this time it's quite intense so first of all it's RGB then nothing in red nothing only in blue so as you can see here I have increased some blue and yellow that um, standard vintage feeling uh, so let's go and create another curves and this time I'm gonna increase it from here a little bit so it will make it a little flat and then go to blue and in the blue I'm gonna increase the blue a little bit and then I'm gonna increase the yellows also something like this so we have really good combination of yellow and blue and they complement each other really nice so we are almost there maybe it's a little intense so you can kill the opacity or maybe adjust it again so let's do it so that is great and after that uh, let's see what else we have so let's select this curves option and then we have a little bit of glow on her hand so the curves uh, this is really cool trick uh, all you have to do is create another adjustment layers and select curves and this time just boost the brightness kind of a lot so that is really bright and then what you do is you select your brush and make sure you have black color and you get rid of the this area like this and right click make sure the hardness is zero percent otherwise it will give you really terrible output so I'm just gonna get rid of it something like that so we have something bright on this side and not this side so blend in a bit little better and that is great you can also control click on her uh, paint with black color in some area so this way you can give some sense of shading so I'm just gonna paint here with black color uh, by the way if you have any confusion just ask me I will explain it to you in comments too if you get lost so uh, uh, this way you can add some shading and I made this side a bit brighter and this side a bit darker because it was looking good and it was complementing the image really nice so create another blank layer and this time do the same thing uh, make sure you have white color 100% opacity and 0% hardness and then do a single click like this 
and then change the blend mode to soft light uh, where is it or you can also go with screen or something like that and then adjust the opacity so that looks really great so this way you can do a really simple photo manipulation but yet very effective so i hope you guys learned something and if you have any questions or confusion related to this video or any other video of mine you can feel free to ask me in the comments i will do my best to explain and if you like this video a thumbs up would be really awesome uh, you can also subscribe to my channel for future updates and you can also check out this awesome tutorials by tutorials junction or you can visit our website for more so till then goodbye take care and have some fun with photoshop